Okay, here we go again. All right, so for previous videos, we've seen what we're doing as far as the modifications. <coughs> we did more modifications, like we did the radius here. We did the radius here, it's a different color. Because now that we modified this, remember in the other videos, you've seen there was like a little step here, and then there was like a little hole here. The whole idea was to put a light there, but unfortunately we couldn't make that happen. So we extended this to make it come like that, which you've seen in the other videos. And then now we're making a nice design, a little circular design here. And so that way when the water's cut into the water, it hits the flat spot to lift it up, and then it starts tunneling. And then there's a step right here, and then it tunnels even more. There's another modification we're doing now, and then in the future, future videos, we're going to lift the edges up so there's a little bit of lip on the sides. So when you go fast around the corner, the rear end is going to spin out. Alright, so listen, so we're now we're going to do the radius, but we're going to make a template. Obviously, you see, this is straight, right? So right now it's straight, and we want to make the curvature like this. How we do this is we're going to use a heat gun to heat this, to hold it, and then we pour cold water on it so it stays in its position. Because then we'll do we'll use this all the way here, and then it'll come up here so it all has the same radius. That's what we're going to do. So Carlito's going to demonstrate that now. Okay. So we need a heat gun, your squeegee, and your water. And a cam and a cameraman. And a cameraman. So if you look here, you see how this has like a little indent goes down. I don't know if you can see in the camera. And this is a flat. We need the flat surface because if we do this indent, it's gonna show up on here. So that has to heat up with the indent facing up. Okay, I like that. smell it now you can smell the oil burning so now we're gonna do is push this down so I use another one that has nothing put water over it and he holds it how this is we're actually making a tool so this is the purpose of this video so you can see how you can actually fabricate the tools this is something that you don't they don't teach you this is something you learn along a professional like this that has the knowledge and the experience that he teaches you and he's being graceful enough to teach us to show you on the video so you can see how this can be done so you can duplicate what we're doing here just with even though we threw the water you could feel the warmth came through the other squeegee not hot, but it's warm, and that's cold water. You can see how it's, and that that's that's how hot that thing was. All right, so look, so he he just want to demonstrate that this one is stiff, takes a lot of pressure, and because we heated it with one finger, basically two points, very little. I mean, when I say a little pressure, I mean barely pushing it down. That's what we want. That's how we get the right form. If you did it like this, you have to push it down and then you have to hold it and then if you lift up a little bit here, you just put a little bit of pressure and that's it. That was the purpose of this. This is mainly for straight edges. We do the straight edges and that's for our, our, our made tool radius. to do our radius. Okay, so now to do these radiuses we're using the 77 instead of the, the all fair only because this is little areas and it dries quicker so we can make this quicker because tomorrow we want to paint this middle part that's why we put paper to protect our edges so you're going to watch Galito use that template that he just made so he puts enough material so that way when you have enough material there watch what he does watch puts very little pressure Now, the, this tape here is to protect our edges, and then basically, uh, once we peel the tape, we gotta we gotta let it dry a little bit, and then we'll block sand it, so that way we have the smoothness, and you won't feel the dip anymore, and you'll feel the radius continuous. Remember, we modified this in the front, and now we're trying to just keep that radius to come through to go all the way in the back, so it's all uniform. 
So now that you saw us in the previous videos, we used the all fair to build it up. Now we're going to use the P77 to fill up again to build it up one more time. Remember, there's three, three, three times we got to do it. And then the last one will be with Evercoat. Remember, the Evercoat is the last uh, filler, which has a better finish. It's a, uh, the other the other stuff is more of a heavy finish. <coughs> this one here is going to be a smoother finish when we do the Evercoat, which is the last coat. Right now, we're going to get ready to do the 77. All right, so here we are at the boat now. We're still working on this part from the previous videos. Now we want to build a lip up, okay? And the purpose of this lip is basically that we took a mold off of another small boat that had a lip kind of like what we want. So there's kind of like the height we want and this is the base so we have to build this build this up so it comes up with a little edge here and it curves inside so it's kind of like a hook like this so if you turn it kind of grabs so that it doesn't fishtail so this just kind of gives you an idea so this is just a template that we made and you'll see as the process goes uh how we're going to do this in the next next uh few videos way down but right now we're just getting ready to start priming this boat uh, we're gonna do tonight a primer. So the side we have covered that they already have the coat that we need We need to catch this middle part to the outside. So when we do a final coat, it's the final coat all the way around But this is so you can see the modifications um, You saw how we made the radiuses. We see how we filled in the holes. Here's the next day that's dry You can see how the, the dark spots is where where he filled in and the, the red and white spots are the parts that are Actually the surface area that we want to match so now what we're doing here is uh, we're going to prepare to do Everco, which is the last epoxy, like I always tell you. It's the last epoxy. It gives it a smoother finish. Remember, the, the P77, it's a rough finish, just filler. It's just like hard stuff. And then this one here is, gives it a nice finished coat. So when you sand it, you paint it, it'll look like glass. So Galito's mixing a batch right now. So when we sand it, we sand this all down, and then we're ready to paint it. We're going to put another coat of primer tonight on this to get caught up on this side. This side's already primed up perfect. This one, we got to get it up to speed to this one, and then we paint one last one on the whole thing to give it the final look, which we should have, hopefully, uh, done this week. Yeah, it's already hard. See, that's the stuff he was just mixing. It's already hard in that short period of time. That's why you gotta work fast with it. But only skilled people can actually work on that because if you take too long, you mess it up. So now we're gonna do the level. So we sanded the sides, so we have to make it straight. And you see, because this we're building the lip now, we're gonna design the lip. And as you see that the tape's just touching all the way. So this little section, we're gonna build a little section just for a trial to kind of idea how it's gonna turn out. So that's what we're gonna use now. P77 is the filler. And we're gonna make an edge. Just, just to see how, how it's going to look and how we want to do it. So we have to first make one and then mold it the way we want it. So now he's mixing the P77. Again, one solid color. And now he makes the edge. So now, uh, since we were showing you how that, that flare is going to be out, so now he's going to, since he has this flattened and it's straightened out, just this section, but this is going to go all the way, this flare is going to go all the way to the front and then disappear and integrate into the hall. So right now we're, we're making the measurements to figure out what we're going to do. It's about a half inch. So he uses his finger as a guide, and there he made his line. And there's his template. <coughs> And so we're going to use P77 to make the form. It's a template. Because that's our template. This, this is only a testing purpose. This is not going to be permanent on the boat. This is just a little section that we're going to test out. So we have that guide in here. We took the tape off. You can see it's pretty, pretty significant. I mean, you really want to see the... 
you can see the difference. It's a pretty good gap. So it's got a nice little upper lip to grab. And then see, he made one over here, and then he one made one here, because then what he's gonna do is use this template, and he'll make one big row just with that, which he's demonstrating. Right now we're just sanding it to make it perfectly smooth so we don't have any bumps that cause any, uh, any imperfections. So Carlita's making P77, so we put tape to the edge of our uh, our template that we made, and then we put tape to make it perfectly straight, and now we can fill these voids in, and he's gonna demonstrate that now with the P77. These are our guides. So when you take the wood, the, the template that he made here, like this, and he makes the form, and the tape here will give the lip. There's the lip. You can see a little bit of the lip right there. That's just the first, first scoop. All right, so it, it dried to a degree. Uh, we took the tape off, and now we're gonna start sanding and make it smooth. So now the other piece comes off. And you see the lip, it's a pretty good lip, but we still gotta sand it and make it look right. But then we took that other piece out so you can see the difference. So now he's gonna sand it. And now we fill in the rest over here. That's what we're gonna do now is fill different types different types right now we're, do, we're, we're gonna make use this whole section to make different little angles to see which one we like the best so that was the first one we made a little sharp edge we made a less a little lesser edge and then this one here is a little bit more rounded edge Really, when you paint it, you'll really see the difference. Right now, it's hard to see the difference, but we did three test ones just to see which one's gonna be the best. You'll see that when we do the video, uh, when it's time to paint it, and uh, we're gonna get back to sanding. Basically now we let this cure and tomorrow we'll see how it looks. So 36 sandpaper. Uh, remember we have one more coat. Now the one last coat will cover everything at one time. Yeah. So we built this up two layers. We last had last previous videos. We built up the other two layers and we made more modifications. Remember we made modifications in the front and in the back. So now we're just catching this up with the two sides and then once we do the final coat it'll do all in one shot. <laughs> so the next step here after this cure is We'll look at it, we'll hit it with blue dye, we hit it with 36 sandpaper, and then we'll check to see if we need to do any more filling. Because that will show us the low and high spot. We just don't know because it's freshly painted. So we'll see that, we'll see that with the blue dye, remember, it shows you all the high and low spots. All right, see you next video.